Hey, welcome back to Skinny Scouter. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to prepare your scout binder. Let's get started. As you soon will become aware, having your scout binder is just as important as having your scout book with you. Now, most scout troops should provide you with one of these, but if you find yourself needing to make one, or you're a scout master that wants to make them for your troop, this video should help you with that. So the first thing when creating a scout binder is the cover page. Now I recommend putting two things on there and that is your troop number and your name. Now I've seen people put their rank, their patrol, other things on there. Those things change so you would need to keep changing that page out. I would just keep it simple and put your name in your troop. So taking a look at what we got going on inside the binder. In this first pocket here, if your binder has one, this is where I would keep all your miscellaneous stuff. So empty blue cards. Uh, merit badge books and of course make sure to bring a pen with you and you're going to want a few pieces of notebook paper just so you can take notes if you need to and finally you're going to want some of these trading card um, protector sheets for your blue cards every time you get a merit badge you get a blue card it's best to have a good place to store them if you're a scout making your own binder, those are all of the pages I would recommend putting in there. Now, if you're a scout master making binders for your troop, there's three more pages that I'm going to have you put in there. So the first page is an introductory page, and it kind of shows the scout how to use the binder. Now, it goes over the purpose and how to use each individual part. Hopefully, I remember to blur my name out. Now, you can use this as a template. You can copy it exactly, but what I would recommend doing is editing this um, this format um, to how you need it in your binders that you're making. Second page is a my plan page. Now what this allows the scout to do is write down through their ages what they plan to accomplish in scouts. So at 13 or 14, they may plan to get tenderfoot. 16 or 17, maybe they're getting Eagle Scout. So the final page, which I can't show you because it has all of my personal information on it, um, it consists of a list of all of the required merit badges, and then at the bottom, it has spaces for all of the electives that you can choose. Well, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this helped you in some way. If you're creating a binder as a Scoutmaster or you're a Scout making your own, um, go ahead and leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye for now.